Hey, what's up to YouTube? This is Bullet20565. It's been a while since I posted a video, but I thought I'll get back into the YouTube thing for a while. See how it goes. Well, today I'm going to be showing you how to install trainers on your RGHs or JTAG Xbox 360s. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm doing a trainer for the Evil Within. And basically, where I get most of my trainers from is xpggamesaves.com. It's a great site. You have to register, of course, but it's no fees or anything like that. And it's all limited access. For this trainer, every trainer is different. Make sure you read the instructions. For like this trainer, you have to press the back and the D-pad up in order to activate the trainer. I'm going to get all of that later into the video. But basically, first thing you need to do is download the trainer you want. Basically, what trainers are, they allow you to do stuff that you're not supposed to be able to do. Therefore, the reason most people buy a JTAG or an RGH console, not just for the free games, just to be able to do like infinite ammo, god mode, one hit, kill, stuff like that. Well, this trainer includes all these uh, abilities right here. But basically, after you download the file, you find your file on your computer, and it will be in a WinRAR file or a zip folder, whatever you prefer to use. You just right click, extract, or open, whatever you prefer. There's different ways to do this. It's all about preferences. And these are the two files you need right here. But basically, what you want to do is you want to take this folder. and put it on a thumb drive which is going to be right here and then you want to take this thumb drive and plug it into your Xbox 360 and I'll show you what to do from there alright thank you alright there's two different ways to do this you can do this through freestyle dash like I'm doing now by going to file manager one second I keep going by it apologize about that and then moving it over through file manager you need to locate the USB drive that the trainer is on which is right here team XPG uh, this is where this thing is you need to hit XX to highlight both files and then move them over by hitting the R bumper but first you need to go to the actual hard drive where your games located which will be in my hard drive one where game this is my preferred method but there's other people who prefer to use XEX menu which whatever your preferences are highlight both of them right click and then hit move that is basically that part and that's how you do it in freestyle dash alright the next step is doing it through uh, XEX menu which you, wherever you your XEX menu is located go to it mine's in the arcade games once you load that up basically if you do not know how to use this hit the back button on the controller and it brings up a menu of all the list controls other than that there's no way I can actually explain this over a video it actually to me XEX menu is more way more complicated than freestyle dash but it's it once again it's whatever you prefer I actually use XEX menu more than I do freestyle dash to launch my trainers and and to move them over but it's whatever you it's whatever your preferences are basically I'm just showing you both methods and then I'm going to show you once again I'm going to show you how to actually start the trainer and activate the trainer if you enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe for more content please check out all my other content on my page I do a lot of Skyrim videos and stuff like that if you have any questions or concerns please contact me over Skype or YouTube you can feel free to add me over Steam or Origins I play Titanfall a lot other than that that's basically everything else for this video after you move them over um, you would hit the guide button and go back to your dash or if you just use XEX menu you can go from there but basically all you have to do is hit the launch trainer the thing that said launch trainer that you moved over basically I'm gonna go to file manager and go to hard drive and then locate my game which would be in my games and I also would like to state that I own every one of these games in real life I don't do pirating I'm sorry I do have a JTAG just for the sole purpose of it's more convenient for me to back all my titles up. So now you would hit trainer loader dot exe. What this will do is it will load the trainer for you. Some trainers automatically start the game and some trainers do not. So basically if it does not automatically start the game what you need to do is actually go find the game and actually launch the game. Wherever you whatever method you use if you use XEX menu or if you use freestyle dash you just basically need to launch the game since this is for the evil within I'm gonna actually launch my game the evil within like I said every trainer is different every trainer uses a different method most trainers use um, 
uh, the start and pause button or or I've seen them where it's RB and LB at the same time or uh, start and pause and guide button it's whatever but this particular one make sure you read before you download this one states that I need to press the start and up button in order to activate the trainer which I do not have a saved content file on this account but I'm just going to activate the trainer just to show you that it works and if you would like proof that this trainer works I will have a video on my, on my page showing that the evil within trainer that's everything please make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'm out